Wabash Valley has been hit hard by inversion. They also saw that wicked cold air. They are going to remain in the unhealthy category for the next several days. We send it to our very own Kate Gardner, who takes a look at how bad it really is up there in Logan. Well, I mean, you can see behind me just how thick the inversion is here in Cache County today. And I mean, right behind me is the Logan Temple, and you really can barely make it out. Now, unsurprisingly, when the air looks like this outside, it's best to stay inside. It really is nasty out there, especially in Cache County. We just got to hold on, get through these few days, and uh, hopefully these low pressure systems come through and, and clean us out. Environmental health scientist Grant Coford reminds people to stay indoors during bad air days. The general healthy individual could go out and, and not really see or feel any effects, um, although they are being exposed to higher levels of pollution. But others. It could cause inflammation, could cause you to have headaches. He says for those with respiratory issues, it could be worse. The Utah Department of Air Quality sends out alerts like this, and you usually see a bunch of letters and numbers. They stand for the quantity of PM 2.5 in the air. That's a fancy way of saying particulate matter with a diameter less than 2.5 microns, which is 100 times thinner than a hair. These particles can be made up of chemicals and pollutants, and their small size makes them dangerous. It has the ability to get down into the lower parts of our lungs and cause inflammation. Cache Valley really seeing the worst of the haze today, but the inversion is hanging over a handful of counties across northern Utah, and a recent study found one refinery could be responsible for a lot of it. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration studied Utah's air, finding the U.S. magnesium plant in Tooele County could be contributing 10 to 25 percent of the chemicals found in northern Utah's inversion. Corporations aside, Coford says cleaner air is possible when everyone does their part. On a day like this, great time to to re work remotely. or It's a good time not to burn. Even lowering the thermostat helps a little bit. Reporting in Logan, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.